Welcome to the channel, everybody. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about this truck that I have here. This is a 2020 Cascadia with a D15 engine. And the problem this truck was having is this. So that is a very common problem on the 15 engines and these 2020 uh, Cascadias are no exception. Even 2023 Cascadias with the 15 engines, they suffer from the same problem. So the problem on this truck, that blow by that was coming from the oil cap every time you open it and the bottom area you see some kind of like fluid which is coolant, uh, that problem was a broken cylinder liner. Uh, the initial part about these um, engine was then the cylinder li the cylinder liner was just leaking a little coolant to the oil so it was not enough to create a big mess but it was enough to create a steam because there was coolant anyway so uh, after putting pressure to the coolant system there was no leak there was nothing so the only way how to create a leak from the cylinder liner was to rotate the crankshaft because in some cases, the liner can be damaged just in the bottom. This damage just started. So the bottom area is the one that has the crack. So when the piston goes to the bottom area and moves left to right, the connecting rope is moving left to right, that is when the piston starts putting pressure in the cylinder liner. And that is where um, the reason why the cylinder liner was leaking. But of course, the cylinder liner was cracked. Uh, not sure where we have that cylinder liner, we removed it and I don't know where that is, but here. Hi. 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 Here is the damage of the cylinder liner. From this side, you can see it better. There. That is the crack. That's the reason why we had coolant leaking, but it was not leaking a lot. It was just starting. And of course, right, this damage over here. So the coolant leaks from here and from the interior of the cylinder liner so both sides are going to have coolant leaks and uh, as i say this is a 2020 uh, cascadia with the same problem as the older 15 engines because they haven't changed the design of the cylinder liner the cylinder liner is still the same on the bottom see this is an older cylinder liner and we still have the same design even for 2010 2008 15 engines is still the same design the bottom seat. So this is the weakest area of a cylinder liner on a D15 engine, D13, D16. Uh, to repair this problem, of course, we have to replace the cylinder liner and uh, the pistons. Uh, the O-rings are already with the cylinder kit. And uh, this one, this cylinder liner is in a good condition. This has no damage. Uh, the reason why this cylinder liner is out is because it was replaced, it was, uh, overhaul was done to this engine, uh, but it, there was no damage to it. There is no corrosion outside, which is good. But this is the example of two cylinder liners that are uh, 
This is in a good condition and this is in a bad condition. But the reason why is because it cracked from the bottom. Well, um, anyway, that's what the main purpose of this video is to show you then uh, even though then you have uh, 2020, 2023, 2018s or whatever cascades that you have with 15 engines, still you're gonna run with the same problem. G, you got something to add to the video? Yeah. Hold on here, man. <laughs> you can have courage. Oh, man. <laughs> you gotta cut that out. Um, <laughs> yes, I was saying, I mean, it doesn't matter what engine you have, still you're gonna have a run with the same problem. So, in case, if you have a 2023, 2022, 2020, 2021, any of the newest, 15 engines, and you start seeing then your engine starts blow um, white steam from the old cap, or you start seeing then it's blowing steam from the crankcase breather, it's more likely that you have a broken cylinder liner. And the repair, of course, is to remove the head. So there is no way then you are going to be able to do that repair without removing the head. So it's a full overhaul that you have to do. And I would recommend you to do a full overhaul anyway because that will help you to increase the life of your engine. If you replace the one cylinder that is broken, probably it's not going to be that effective. But anyway, uh, it was a video that I wanted to show because uh, this is a question that probably you guys have. Then if I get a new D15 engine, I want to get less problems than the older D15 engines. If the question is no, I mean, the answer is no. It, it is the same problems, the internal problems, the same exact problems that you get on 2010s D15 engines, the same problems you're going to get in 2020. So, I mean, same repairs. And, but that makes this very easy to repair because we already know the problems. We already know the uh, solution to the problems and the reasons why they fell. But any questions, just comment below. Any recommendations, comment below as well. If you have experiences about these, these 15 engines, the new Cascadias, you can comment below. Um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and thank you for watching.